Oh no, I've got a case of ear mites. I'm going to show you in today's video how to spot the signs of ear mites and what you do to treat it. It's actually very simple and it's nothing to worry about, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And today we're dealing with my uh, California buck back here who's got a case of ear mites. Um, I'm not sure where he got them from. He probably came with them, honestly. I've only had him a couple of months. And uh, I'm going to show you how to treat that. A lot of people kind of get panicked whenever it comes to ear mites. It's really nothing to worry about. It's actually a very simple simple, easy thing to treat, but it is probably the most common uh, illness or uh, pest, pest, I guess, that, uh, that rabbits get. You're going to see it. It's a fairly common thing. It happens all the time. Luckily, it seems to be only him, not the rest of my rabbits that have any problems with ear mites. They all look pretty good, so uh, I should be, it shouldn't have any problems treating just him. Let me bring you in close. We'll show you what the ear mites look like or what the uh, symptoms of them look like. You won't be able to see the actual mites, and then uh, we'll talk about how to treat them. He's getting all excited. He knows we're talking about him, I guess. All right, so this is my California buck right here. He does have a case of ear mites. Let me see if I can get him to turn his head to the side. We'll be able to see kind of what the uh, damage looks like or what the uh, symptoms look like. What you're looking for down in his ears, hopefully you can see that. He's got some scabs and things, and that is a sure here. Turn your head this side, buddy. Maybe we can get a shot of this side. Come on. Come on. Come on. Turn over here. There we go. There we go. And he's got some, uh, don't bite me now. <laughs> he's got some uh, scabs and things going on inside his ears. This isn't a su significant, you know, severe case, but, um, you know, whenever you see that inside the ears, uh, you might also see him kind of scratching, flopping his head around, those kinds of things. Then uh, that is a sure sign of ear mites. And you need to get it treated because, there he goes, shaking his head like that. Uh, because it can become a serious issue if you let it go on too long. But luckily, it's pretty easy to treat. Treat. All right, so let's talk about how we're going to treat this. Um, you'll see most people recommend, as soon as you see ear mites, they'll recommend some kind of pesticide uh, to take care of that. Some kind of either topical, something you put in their ears, you know, something like that. And that works. You can use pesticides if you want to, but I, I find that it's not necessary. And in my opinion, it's, it's always best to not use pesticides if you don't have to. Um, the other thing I will suggest is you will see a lot of people that will recommend treating your rabbits periodically with pesticides to avoid them getting ear mites. Honestly, ear mites is an easy thing to take care of. I, I think that's bad practice. Don't use pesticides unless you absolutely have to. So what I'm using here is mineral oil. And honestly, you can use any food grade oil. Olive oil would work, canola oil, peanut oil. Really any kind of food grade oil is going to be just fine. I just happen to have mineral oil here. Um, and that's about the only thing I use it for. So that's what I'm using today. And uh, what I've got is just a little eardropper. Um, this is pretty easy. I'm just going to uh, suck up some mineral oil inside the eardropper and then I'm going to put a couple of drops in each ear. Now he's not going to like this. He's going to be unhappy about it, um, but it's a necessity. It's something that's got to be done. So let me get this opened up here and uh, we'll get him treated. All right, buddy. And what I usually do, um, I don't like to hold him down. He's kind of off camera. Let me see if I get to this side. Maybe you can see. Um, I'm just going to kind of reach in here, scratch his forehead a little bit, and then... Uh, and then just put a drop or two in each ear. And he's probably going to shake like crazy when I do it. And that's okay. What you don't want to do is you don't want to get in here and dig out those scabs or anything like that. Just leave them in there. They're going to fall off on their own. So, oh, come here. We got one more ear to treat. Now, what this oil does while he's kind of getting used to the hat and getting... This is going to coat the inside of his ear and it's going to suffocate all those mites. Let me get the other ear treated real quick and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. I know. You're unhappy with me right now. I know. I know. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, I'm going to have to reach in here and do it. There we go. And that's about it. All right, so that's about it. He's probably a little grumpy right now, doesn't like the idea of all that oil being sprayed in his ears. I can't blame him, it's probably uncomfortable. Uh, but it's a necessity. Like I said, if you let these things go untreated, uh, it, they, can get, they can get really, really bad. And you'll see rabbits with scabs 
all up their ears, on the outside of their ears, all over. Just terrible, terrible conditions for a rabbit to be in. Um, but what I'm going to do is basically just treat this every day for probably the next four or five days. Um, all those scabs will kind of fall off on their own. They'll fluff off and they'll just fall off and they'll go away. So I'm going to just keep treating them every day for probably about four or five days. And then after that, every other day for probably another week. So what I want to do is treat every other day for a week after all the scabs are gone. And I do that because there still could be some eggs in there that are hatching out or anything like that. But just, that's about it. That's all it's going to take. Every day for four or five days, the scabs will probably fall out and be gone by then. And then every other day for another, you know, week after that. And that should be fine. And then I'll just quit treating them. And if they come back, I'll treat them again. It's no big deal. Now, one thing I will tell you is if the, you know, these are wire cages, so there's nowhere really for the, uh, the mites to live in. So I don't have to worry too much about them being in the, the cage or anything. That's probably why they haven't transferred over to my other rabbits yet. Uh, but if you do have uh, solid cages, wood cages, um, which I think is a, probably a bad idea anyway because the rabbits are going to chew on them, but if you do have something like that or a cage that has a lot of hay, a lot of straw, some of those kinds of things in it, then um, the mites can bed themselves in that straw and all. You probably want to get rid of all that straw, replace it with new straw if that's the way you go. Um, again, I don't find that straw is necessary. They just throw it all around. It becomes a mess, but you know, hey, if, the, if that's the way you're doing it, uh, you do need to take that extra precaution, clean out the cage, get rid of all the straw. You don't have to worry about like spraying it down with bleach or any of that kind of stuff. Like I said, if the, if the ear mites come back, it's easy enough to treat. I'll just put a couple of drops in each ear and that's it. So uh, he's going to be fine. This is going to take care of those ear mites. No problem. We'll have them. We'll get rid of them probably within a week and, uh, and I doubt that it'll even come back. All right, so hopefully that puts your mind at ease if you're dealing with ear mites. I've actually addressed this in previous videos, but uh, hey, I got some new subscribers, some new people following the channel. You may not have seen that video. You may not be familiar with ear mites, so I thought I would just shoot this video again while I'm treating it myself. And uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, God bless.